Hi, I'm Don, and thanks for stopping by my kitchen. Today we're making some fair pantry tempura, which is uh, basically a lightly battered fried vegetables with a teriyaki style dipping sauce. And these bare pantry recipes I'm uh, doing for the site are for times when you don't think you have anything in the house to cook, but you don't have going to the store. So uh, I looked around, found all these veggies, got everything I need to make the sauce. We're going to kind of improvise the batter here, and uh, so let's get going. Let me show you what we're going to be using. Okay, here are basically all the ingredients. Um, I've, got, I've got an eggplant that I bought. I was going to take some pictures of it for uh, the website, but I think I'm just going to eat it instead. It's got a parsnip, uh, carrot, uh, a red bell pepper. This is my favorite kind of bell pepper. They're much milder than the green peppers. A red onion, some green onions. I'll probably be using these just to garnish. I don't know if I'll fry them yet. Um, and uh, these are all going to be deep fried, uh, thinly sliced and deep fried. And then for the sauce over here, I've got some uh, soy sauce, some sugar, a little bit of cider vinegar, my favorite kind of vinegar, and uh, garlic. I'm using a couple of cloves of garlic. And where did my ginger go? Oh, here it is. We've also have some ginger for the sauce. And uh, you'll also need some vegetable oil for the deep frying. And for the batter, I just have, uh, all you need is flour, ice water, it's very important to use uh, ice cold water, and uh, an egg if you have it. I don't have the egg today, so I'm going to use a little bit of milk, which should be all right. Okay, basically what we want to do with these vegetables is just um, peel them if necessary, and then slice them really thin, especially these uh, harder root vegetables. We're going to make these almost like uh, potato chips, or parsnips, or in this case. So uh, we're going to wash them all off, slice them real thin, and make sure they're real dry. So uh, maybe even pat them off a little bit after you slice them off. That way we'll make sure they'll fry up nice and crisp. So let me do that, and I'll come right back. Dipping sauce for this fair pantry tempura. And over here I've got a pan on about medium, medium high heat with about a third of a cup of water and four real thin slices of ginger. And uh, I'm just going to sim simmer these about a minute or so just to try to draw some of the flavor out of them. And now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of sugar. I've got some honey up here somewhere. A quarter cup of sugar, about uh, two teaspoons of cider vinegar. I think I put enough sugar in a little bit more. Also, I'm going to use this honey. And I've also, over here, I have two cloves of garlic, small cloves of garlic, uh, finely minced and crushed up to release some of the oils in there. I need some more honey. <laughs> oh, that smells good. I love the smell of vinegar. I'll put the garlic in here now, too. And also some soy sauce. Oh, no. Uh, four tablespoons of soy sauce. And now what you want to do is bring this up to a boil. Uh, let it boil for just a second and then turn it down. It should thicken up a little bit. If it's thicken up enough, uh, you can add a little more sugar. Or you don't even need it that thick. Uh, but this will let the flavors combine as you boil it and then let it simmer. And then, uh, just turn it off while we make the rest of this uh, tempura recipe. All right, now that that sauce is uh, boiled and reduced a little bit, we're ready to uh, fry the veggies. That's right here. So uh, in here I have about oh a half a cup of sifted flour, a quarter cup of ice cold water, about two tablespoons of milk. Nice thin batter. You don't want to or, uh, you get too much coating on the veggies. And also over here on this plate, I have some more sifted flour uh, ready to put the veggies on here to fry them up. You're going to want to get a nice thin coating of the flour on them. You can even just shake some more over the top. 
But before we start, you want to make sure your oil is at the right temperature. It should be about 350, 375. And it'll be hot enough when you put a piece of whatever you're frying in, and it sizzles nice and quick right away. So mine's not quite hot enough, so let's hold on one second. All right, we had a little technical difficulty there. Hopefully this one uh, will come up. I ran in a hard time space while I was taping that video, that last video. So just in case we didn't catch it, what we're doing here, we got the sliced veggies. We're giving them a light bed of flour. We've got our tempura mixture. It's ice water, sifted flour, and a little bit of milk. Nice hot oil. Pump them in. Slide them in your oil. If your batter gets too thick, just add a little bit of water. And like I tell you, these are good. I just sampled one real quick here. Oh, Auburn, boy, is it tasty. I got some in the oven already. Another onion. And remember, don't, don't put too much in your fryer at once. Or you'll overload it and it will take too long to cook. So I'm going to keep cooking these. Got to do them in batches, remember, don't overload it. Okay, I'm down to my last batch of tempura. And I've got some warmed up in the oven here still. It's best if you eat them right away, so when you're doing this at home, uh, just get everything ready, pop in the kitchen, to fry these things up real quick and serve them to your guests, and uh, the hotter the better. They're going to love them. But for the purpose of the show, I had to save up a few to make them uh, for you, but we're almost ready to go. So I've got that sauce we made earlier. I just put it in a little dish, and I garnished with a little bit of finely chopped green onion. Almost done with these last few pieces here. Alright. So, we got the bare pantry tempura. If you've never tried making tempura at home, go ahead. It's not hard at all. As you see, I just did it here in about a half hour is all it took. And boy, is it yummy. And uh, I bet your friends will love it too if you make it for them. So let's set these up here. We got our sauce. You know, nice hot ones. Oops, a little too hot. Got eggplant, parsnips, zucchini, red pepper, broccoli would be really good with this. I love uh, tempera broccoli. And I've got some sesame seeds. I'm going to sprinkle with those. And garnish with a few more green onions. All right, and that's it. All right, there you go. We got the vegetable tempura with teriyaki dipping sauce. Mm. Well, let me tell you, that's really good. And it's not too greasy, right? Either. I think I got the uh, batter just right. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, let me know if you try this recipe. I'd love to hear from you. I've heard about a couple people making the. Uh, the bear pantry spaghetti sauce and uh, my bear pantry potato soup. So uh, let me know how this one turns out. Thanks, everybody. Bye.